guys, welcome back to Controlled Recoil. So, out uh, doing a bit of bush stalking at the moment. It's a pretty cold, wet day. And uh, yeah, looking to secure a deer or a pig. So that's the plan at the moment. Got the wee 308 with me, little shorty. Well suited for this sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm just stalking my way down through some clearings, so. Yeah, all going well, we'll bump into something, but yeah, there's not a lot out at the moment, it's it's, it's cold, and um, yeah, it's actually just starting to, to clear a little, which is good, so hopefully we'll um, make the most of some of these clearings across the valley here, so yeah, let's get into it. So I've just come round into this other catchment here and uh, just spotted three pigs. Pushing out, there's a little bit of wind coming from right to left. Uh, it's, it's gaining some reasonable wind speed now. So I'll have to watch for that. I'd say a, a good even five mile per hour here, which means it's probably more like seven out in the middle there. And uh, yeah, we might use our scope parallax to sort of just focus in on the rain um, halfway across and get some judgment call there. They are in a sheltered spot. There's a wee ridge off to their right um, with a, that bunch of trees. So it's a little bit deceiving, there's not a lot of wind where they are, but um, there will certainly be one down in the middle of this gully. And uh, yeah, I'll get a range on them and we'll work out some data. So I've just been working out the uh, data here. It's a 367 yard shot. <coughs> We've got wind coming in from the right hand side. Uh, so we're using our ballistic app here, Hornady. Um, you can select which direction the wind's coming from and how many mile per hour. I'm going to say it's around, when it's when it's lulled out, it's about 5 mile per hour. Um, it's a negative 14 degree slope, so we've allowed for that as well. Our altitude's sitting at about 570 metres at the moment. Temperature's about, about 50 degrees, 52 degrees, something like that. That's Fahrenheit, obviously, and... Um, yeah, it's uh, calling for a uh, 4.95 MOA, so we'll dial to 5, and yeah, we'll just do a, a quick double check for that range, because they are grazing a little bit, and uh, yeah, then work on getting this wind call right, so yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, range is the same. Made sure that our cant bubble um, is level and our, we're using our second focal plane scope so our magnification is on full mag which is 16 power in this instance. We've dialed up, we've loaded up, we're on safe and uh, yeah, ready to go. Wind's pretty good so line up and get this done. Absolutely smoked. Oh, don't go all the way to the bottom. <laughs> oh, I can still hear him rolling. Yeah. Well, there'll be some walking now. So that was a... Uh, that was a 1 MOA wind hold uh, to the right, and safe to say we got that right. So, yeah, really happy. Awesome. So 
so guns back safe guys we've dialed back and put the magnification back down to mid-range in case uh, things happen fast up close and uh, generally you've always got time at longer ranges to settle that up so i always bring it back to low to mid-range sometimes lower depending on the country i'm in and uh, change that parallax back to uh, 100 or lower depending on the terrain as well so just means you're ready for the for the stuff that happens up close which generally happens a lot quicker and at long range obviously you've got time to settle that up and should be double checking all that stuff anyway so yeah ready to rock and roll we'll go down and uh, see if we can find it well i've just been uh, waiting for a little while uh, maybe like 15 minutes 20 minutes just to check to see if those other pigs were going to come out um, and it turns out there's three deer out on this face um, just grazing through so pretty awesome um, I kind of figure if we're going over there anyway we uh, we might as well get some venison as well uh, I'll see what they are first and uh, yeah might line up and take a shot These ones are at uh, 434, uh, it's a negative 5 degree slope, um, but essentially very similar area, so same sort of wind, and we know we got that right, so yeah, just waiting for a nice broadside shot now. Just fell over. Well, she actually, uh, yeah, I aimed for the crease, um, which was uh, putting the main cross here right in her shoulder. Um, so I knew if the wind didn't blow as much as I thought, it was still going to be vitals. And if it blew more, it was going to blow into the shoulder or base of the neck area. Um, potentially not as much wind on that shot. It, it, it sort of acted, obviously didn't break her leg because um, she, she ran probably, f I don't know, maybe 30 metres, 40 metres and fell over. Um, but yeah, quite surprising, little reaction there, so I'll be interesting to see what damage the bullet did. Um, I haven't changed anything, these are still the same old bullets that we uh, know and trust, the old ELDMs, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see, um, yeah, the damage. Alrighty. Now the fun begins. We'll go get them. Oh yeah, and the steep stuff. So, uh. Just coming around here guys and we've actually got some goats just up here so we might take some of them as well. Just waiting for a self shot here. That bush in the background doesn't offer much of a backstop so just wait for these to walk out. So uh, just shot those four goats, I'll bring them out for uh, for dog tucker and uh, yeah it's going to be a pretty big load, deer, pig and four goats to bring out whole. Oh, so I've got, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half of daylight left maybe and uh, yeah if you see she's pretty steep round here. Oof. You don't want to go down there. Oh, 
onwards. So uh, that hind must be down in here somewhere. What a stunning evening. Still really, really cold, but uh, it's all right when you're moving. Look at that, there we go, blood. Good blood. A bit more there. So she must be just in here. I believe this is the bush that was moving. Looks like something's pushed through here. Right there. Man, glad it wasn't dark, she'd be hard to find. Tangled up in there. Perfect. Oh, she didn't go far at all. 30, 40 metres, probably 40. Maybe standing for five, six seconds, something like that, but no, perfect. It'll be very interesting to see where this shot goes. It's been, man, super surprised that she went anywhere at all. Look at that. Just smack through the shoulder. Oh, she's down anyway, and it looks like good damage, so yeah. Just the way it worked out, really, but yeah, she certainly wasn't going to go too far. Super happy, man, what a, she's a nice animal, perfect. Look at that, bag of prime meat. Thank you, dear. Alrighty. She's getting late now, I'll have to make a move, I think. All the way down into here. Alrighty. Having to get a move on now, she's pretty dark and I don't really want to be scrambling around in the steep stuff with the, uh, with the headlamp too much. We're on the right track anyway. Here we go. Oh, alrighty. So he got shot there, mid frame, and rolled the whole way down, I believe. Holy moly, every time I come through here, you just forget just how steep it is. <laughs> oh, well there's blood. easy on the white stones, that's lucky. Well, one thing's for sure, if you look back up there, it's going to be tender, or a waste of time, one or the other. Wee piggy piggy. Where we, uh, where the shot happen? Oh, nice. Right forward in the shoulder, so. Yeah, drifted. Probably was about one MOA, it's pretty good for wind. Alrighty, deal with this and then get back up to the gear and then get out and get these four goats. Beauty. There's three goats there, we've got a bag of venny, bag of pork. Oh, yeah, we've got one more goat to recover down in here somewhere. But anyway, bit of a recovery mission, holy moly. It's gonna be a late one. Oh, that is a good sight right there. Holy moly. Beautiful. 
Well, back at the road, all recovered, awesome mission. Again, guys, hey, thanks heaps for uh, sticking around to the end. Really appreciate it and uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Keep the comments coming and uh, any suggestions, throw them in there as well. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Cheers.